Hi, I'm Moody. I'm feeling Moody and it's time for a moon message. Today's moon is the waxing gibbous moon under the astrological sign of Leo. This reading is for Aquarius. Oh, it just came to me that you may need some strength. You may need some strength. What's going on with Aquarius right now, spirit? What does Aquarius need to know right now? A lot. Mm. Retreat, relax, prepare for the next cycle. And isn't that something? Mm -hmm. You know, I do feel like you are being told that you're in a state of preparation. You're in a state of preparation. Tell me more, spirit. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. What does Aquarius need to know right now? Holy Spirit, Angel Guides, Spirit Guides. Ooh, a lot. Something about releasing. It didn't fall, but it's there. I mean, Spirit was like, show you that. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Mmm. This is why you need to release. I see already a karmic person, a karmic situation, sadness, grief, disappointment over being abandoned, over feeling like somebody abandoned you, over you abandoning someone else. Somebody's numbing. Oh my goodness. Yeah. This, after this energy, you definitely need to retreat. And relax. Pull back and relax. Somebody's been through a very, very tough cycle. I see. I see why Spirit is saying preparation is important for you at this time. Aquarius, overcoming a karmic sad cycle. I feel the Ten of Swords. I feel the, the five of pentacles. I just feel it was toxic. It was difficult this last cycle that you're leaving. Thank God that's the past, right? Thank God change is inevitable. One day it comes. A new cycle. Yes, that's exactly what you need. Mm. Tell me more, spirit. Seems like somebody is still in a state of confusion. Yeah. Yeah, you two are just are not aligned. You know, I feel like you may have um, had a good relationship where superficial things were concerned. Aquarius, but... That's no longer holding court. I mean, the disagreements have become more and more over less and less. And it's just time for this cycle to end, right? Thank God for change, you know. Oh, my goodness. Mm. New beginnings, new beginnings that bring you good fortune, that bring you the one. After experiencing the past, you're ready. <laughs> you're preparing for the next cycle. Some of you, it's everything that's on your mind, and rightfully so, Aquarius. You've been through a heavy past cycle. Mm. But you know what? This has made you stronger. I see you are resilient. That's my Aquarius, right? Yeah, healing. Healing. Um, knowing how and when to step away. Win some, lose some. So that you can heal. You know, so that you can clear the confusion. 
Mm. Either way, this karmic taught you something. Tell me more for Aquarius spirit. Tell me more. Tell me more. Give me some more cards for Aquarius, please. Thank you. Okay, Aquarius. Okay. I'm just going to get the future clarification out for us. So when I do open my mouth, we're on a roll. <laughs> Spirit said, get the cards down. Yes. 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 You know. Mm-hmm. 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 Oof. Yes. Aquarius. Oof. The wheel. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you choose to move forward. I know that. I know you. Nothing is going to stop you. I mean, no is not really an answer for you. I can't. I don't hear you ever saying that. Not in your vocabulary. Right. It's not working. And so you're retreating. You're taking time to heal. This is somebody who you thought was your partner for life. Ten of Cups. You thought they were your one all, your be all. They were the one. Right. And in a lot of aspects, you know what, Aquarius? They were the one. They were a soulmate. I don't believe in coincidences. They were supposed to be in your life to teach you a lesson, maybe regarding love. Yes, this person was very attractive to you. You were very attractive to them. The king and queen of wands is very attractive. In the beginning, you two were compatible, maybe sexually compatible, Aquarius. But it ended in grief. It ended in sadness. Um, this was not a life partner. There was a lot of confusion, a lot of disagreements with the Four of Cups. It's like you never were enough. You always felt like you weren't enough. Things were not clear. Um, when you communicated, when they communicated about your relationship, you two never seemed to align the Three of Pentacles reverse, always being misunderstood. Yeah, always disagreements. You know, like I said, you got along when it came to joking around and having fun and sex, you know, but when it came to anything deeper, it seemed like it always ended, concluded in a cloud of confusion, it did, you know, it left you broken, it left you sad, it left you needing and wanting more, and that was its purpose. When it came to love Aquarius, Spirit wanted you to need and want more and desire it and go after it and think about it. Now you have a comparison of what you don't want versus what you want. And so some of us, you know, have to go on a different path longer than others. We have to be out there doing more research. We just keep opening our hearts to something that is broken. Other of us, others of us move on quicker. You know, the magician, but this is someone who now knows the difference. It's like they know what to focus on and because they've had their perspective change, right? They now have a different perspective. Ooh, that's the two of wands, two paths. You know, they were on a destructive path. They needed that path, obviously, to help them learn the lesson. And for this person and for you, I don't know who I'm talking to, but it felt like this was a long path, a long cycle, a long cycle. <laughs> so 
it made you long for something more when it came to love. Not only a superficial love, but a love that was sustaining, stable. Look at that. You know what I like about you, Aquarius? You always have the attitude of win some, lose some. You know, like I said, you are not one to give up. You are the, the card of hope. The star is all about being hopeful. So regardless of the setback, like no is not an option. You know, I can't is not an option. You're going to pick yourself up and... Be yourself, free yourself from this situation, your mindset. You're going to start networking and becoming the social butterfly that you are. That's what I see. Yes. And you know, that's what today's waxing gibbous moon in Leo is all about. It's all about changing your focus. And with this attitude of win some, lose some, that's exactly what you're doing. You're focusing now on winning some. That was a loss, clearly, but you're focused on winning some. After reviewing this, see, now you know Right? You had to go through all of this to get to the point where you longed for something more and you started to go after something more, something more in line with what you deserved. Absolutely. But you had to go through the past to get to the other side and know what you deserve. Yeah, your carefree attitude helps you end this cycle perfectly. It does, because you're not bitter. I don't feel that this Aquarian is bitter. That I don't really feel that there's resentment. I mean, realizing they played a part, the other played a part too. And it was time for this past to end. You're preparing for a new cycle. When the world is here, it's an ending and a new cycle beginning immediately. Only this time, you're focused on winning. Yeah, the last cycle was a loss, but you have recovered. You healed or you're going to be healing. This is future energy. Know that you will heal after this. I don't know where you are in your reading, but the end result is that you gain the confidence to move forward with a positive attitude, with a change in your perspective. You have the courage to get back into this wand energy and desire something more for yourself, Aquarius. That's right. That's when the cycle ends and more appears the one appears what look at there's that one energy queen of wands king of wands you know after what you've experienced look at that the one appears in the future because now you're ready to align with the one and the one appears <laughs> oh look at that that's right there's a couple here. There's alignment. There's a new beginning. Didn't I say that? It's on the horizon. You may not see it yet, but it's coming. It's coming. The sun is going to rise. A new moon. Yes. As soon as you let go of this, I think this full moon coming in prepares you. It prepares you to let go of something so you can make the space necessary big enough. That's pleasant. That's inviting, that is engaging, that is different, that you've longed for, something more than what you had before. Before you had all the jokes and the superficial energy um, when things started, but when the relationship became real and the responsibilities, the obligations got deep, things fell apart. Things fell apart. They weren't there for you. Mm -mm. A lot of disagreements, misunderstandings, not wanting to compromise, I just heard. Yeah. See, but this is what you don't want anymore. And you come into energy of knowing what you do want. Preparing for the next cycle. Preparing to win. Right. Letting go of what no longer serves you and going after what you really desire. That produces a new moon. That produces some clarity. 
Mm, maturity. Absolutely. You know, you have king and queen energy here. And someone who aligns with you perfectly. They've gone through a little things too. Not a little, but uh, you know what I mean. So it's like there's growth. There's maturity. No game playing. I think you two are ready for each other. Though, and that's why the wheel shows up. Mm. I think you two move into the future. Why? Because you share your dreams. You encourage each other. And you two are very realistic. You keep each other grounded. You, you're down to earth. They bring out the... Look at this. Your soul is preparing to reconnect. Trust the process. Hey, to reconnect. So this could have been someone you had a past life with. Wow, Aquarius. You could be reconnecting with somebody that you had a past life with. Yeah, this love that you long for now, that you're dreaming of, that you're focused on, the winning that you're going to win at. Yes. You're courageous. You're, and that brings it right to you. It's like you attract it. You are attractive anyway. But there's this intimacy between you two. Why? Because you're aligned. You're from the same tribe. You think alike. Your values are alike. Oh, yes. You know what? I feel like spirit is using you. I do. Why? Because you have the Ten of Cups, the Two of Cups, the Magician, Temperance. Uh, one, two, three, four, five major arcanas, first of all, Aquarius. That means major change. And Spirit is with you. There's a purpose. You know, whenever he aligns two soulmates. See, in the past, you were with somebody you weren't aligned with. That's why it didn't work. But now he's aligned you to. Trust me, God always has a purpose. When he shows up like this, you two are going to be blessed abundantly so that you can bless others. There's always a purpose. Yeah, this is why you're meeting your match. You two are going to share your dreams together and encourage each other to make those dreams a reality. Mm -hmm. I know it's going to allow you to be of service to others. It's part of your destiny, something you were fated to do. Yes, your soul is being prepared for the next cycle in which you reconnect. Spirit is saying, have trust and have faith. <laughs> Yes, could involve who? A Cancer, Leo, Aries, Sag, Sag, heavy temperance, right? Of course, um, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Leo, heavy, Scorpio, heavy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Pisces, definitely Sagittarius, heavy, but it involves you, Aquarius, preparing for something that you're going to win at. You're determined to win. <laughs> what? After losing, it's like you're determined to win. And you are. That's what makes all the difference. Your attitude, the way you handle it. Yeah, this is a real thing. Because now you know how to honor somebody and how it feels when they honor you. If you don't know that, that's true because you're coming out of something broken. But you are going to learn that. That's how deep this next relationship is going to be. Honor. Like the Bible says, honor your parents, but honor your wife, your husband. And notice your relationship becoming stronger. Have you ever honored somebody? No. When was the last time? Leave it in the comments. I'm just saying. I I can't remember. Yeah, there's something stirring in the future, right? After you have the confidence to keep stepping, it's like, look how attractive she is. Come on. Attracting. That's that Leo energy, right? Attraction. Leo's all about attracting mm -hmm. because they're so confident. It's like you watch somebody that moves with confidence. They captivate your attention. And that's just how this new love in the new cycle is going to be. You got the one showing up early in the new cycle. 
Yeah, as soon as this ends, that appears. I think as soon as you, let me put it like this, as soon as the past cycle ends with the person you don't want, and then you clearly define who you want. The magician clearly defines who and what they want. And then they believe that they can obtain it. They believe they're worthy of it. And they go after it. And you know what? They don't settle. They want what they want. And that's what they go after until they obtain it. And that is that king and queen wand energy. Good fortune is ahead. You have the wheel and you have temperance here. What? It's a new beginning. I mean, you see it right here in the cards. A new beginning. Mm -hmm. And it comes in clarity. That's how you know. Yeah. The power of love is like a magnet. It's going to be magnetically drawing you two towards each other. Give me some more information about this soulmate coming in or going out. I know you're going to do it either way, but tell me about these soulmates here. Because there are two perspectives on love, and you're going forward with a whole different perspective. Mm. Yeah, see, I felt like this was could have been more sexual, and that was kind of a energy that was inconsistent, right? Because they're not really there for anything superficial. They're, they're just a superficial soulmate. Mm. So that's why you detached. That's why you detached. There was no commitment, right? And so now you are knowing what you want. Mm -hmm. And going after it. You definitely know what you don't want. Mm -hmm. So you're looking for somebody to have all of the attributes and characteristics of what you do want. Here's said, write it down. Sometimes you have to do that when you're the magician to make sure it's very clear and concise, right? Yes, that's how God operates in clarity, clearness, no confusion. Mm -hmm. What else about these soulmates? See, in the past, they didn't really even know how to express their feelings to you, towards you. It's like you two lacked compromise, you know? Um, it was difficult because it was a temporary situation, a soulmate that was there to groom you and prepare you for the one, for this new cycle coming in. Everything needs preparation, Spirit said. And so, yes, as soon as you let go, the change comes in, the movement occurs, the new risks, mm, you take a risk by letting that go and opportunities unfold the, the, as soon as that cycle ends. Because, <laughs> yes, you are just a bowl of courage and strength. You strut, you strut into the future, confident and courageous that you're going to find the one that's believing mm -hmm. and knowing that you deserve. And then that energy brings them right to you. Why do I say that? Because look, you end that cycle and the one appears. They come. As soon as the cycle ends, a new one begins and the one appears. And then she does or he does. This is about good fortune coming in. The wheel is here. This is somebody you're fated to be with. You're, this is not a fair weather relationship. Trust me. This is the beginning of something that brings you truth and clarity. It's an alignment because you two have a higher purpose, a higher calling. All right, Aquarius. If you were able to identify with something that was said, you know what? I want to give you an angel number, though. Give me an angel number for Aquarius, Holy Spirit, to just sum this up. Best angel number for Aquarius. New beginnings. How many times do I got to tell you that? 
yeah, you took the risk. An opportunity appears. Because you took the risk, you brought this to an end. And it was your whole disposition. I'm telling you, it was working. And the opportunity, your courage, mm, big love is coming in. Look out for an opportunity that might be a game changer. Didn't I tell you? You are completing something major. It feels good to level up, huh? Yeah, spiritually, it feels good to let go of what no longer serves you, to be in your power, be confident and courageous, and then to have the one show up. Hmm. Yeah, it feels good to level up, close the old chapter, a new adventure will unravel. It's going to unfold right in front of your eyes. 0909 might be, will be a number you should associate with new beginnings or taking an opportunity or somebody could magically just appear appear in front of you. No, that is the beginning of it. You're, you're ready. You're ready for a new ad adventure. Mm -hmm. I see it and it appears right in the future. As soon as you close that door, the new beginning starts. Alrighty, I'm praying for that. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, but leave me a comment. Tell me about this. How does this resonate with you? And if you are just looking for a new beginning, put 0909 in the comments for me. Hit like, subscribe. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory forever and ever. Amen. Aquarius, thank you for hanging with me to the end. Thank you for all of your likes, subscribes, donations. Those of you who have requested a reading, thank you so much for the love. And until the next moon phase, namaste.